I'm Jim. Welcome to Time in Johnstown. Today's January 26th, 2022. I'm headed up to Mayfield. I got a call, uh, no heat in a building. It's a, it's a small building that a guy set up for his wife. She uses it as like an exercise place for her and her friends. They get together there and, and exercise and that. A lot of exercise equipment in the place. But uh, they use a Miller trailer furnace to heat it, and it's on the second floor, so that's a little unusual. But uh, So they, they don't have any heat. It hasn't been working for a little while. I guess they haven't been using it. I'm going to go up and uh, check it out and see if I can help them out, uh, take you along, and uh, hopefully get some uh, decent video clips. Oh, that sun was nice there for you, wasn't it? And hopefully get you some decent uh, video clips. So we'll be there shortly. stuck. Quite a mouse nest in there. So we're gonna get that out of there, check the wiring. And uh, then I'm gonna pull that out and I wanna check the heat exchanger and see because uh, we've got some oil on the, on the floor here and I don't see anywheres in the burner compartment where that would come out of. So I'm hoping that didn't come down through the bottom of the furnace. It may be that the furnace is shot. So we'll check it out. I got the fan out, <clears throat> and as you can see, mice have made quite a nest in here. So we're gonna get this out of here. Hopefully there's nothing in there. I don't want this laying on top of the heater chamber. Burning. So we'll take a look. All right, I kind of suspect that we've got a problem with the heat exchanger in here. So we're gonna check it out and see. Um, we are gonna check it out and see what's going on.
show you one of the tricks of the trade, what I do with these is, so I don't have to unhook the fuel lines. I, uh, I disconnect that, I pull the pump right out of it. And then there's that much less I gotta get out of th through this compartment here. But uh, yeah, something's not right here. We'll, we'll check it out here in a minute, but I got the suspicion we're gonna find, either it's plugged up with soot because I don't know if this has ever been cleaned or, uh, or it's got a hole in it. And I suspect the hole because I could smell uh, combustion products up there when I was looking down in the, in the fan. So, so we'll check it out, see what we got. There's the uh, that looks all right. It's a little hard, but, but that looks all right. That's the pump coupling, drive coupling. I love these ratchet wrenches for working on these. Uh, for working on these. Uh, All right, I'm gonna go out and get my uh, screw gun. No heat in here. Hasn't been any heat in here for uh, several weeks, I guess. The problem is, it's only like 15 degrees out because it was it was uh, in the single digits this morning, so it's cold in here. There's no other form of heat. Fortunately, they don't have any any uh, plumbing in here, so I don't have to worry about anything being being frozen. Kind of think maybe they tried to fix this on their own because I see a toolbox here and a couple of wrenches in the back and I don't know what it is they were doing or looking for but so let's see what we got here I see exhaust up there, and I see a great big split in the, in the heat exchanger. So that's about the end of that. But I want to, I want to get some pictures so I can send them to the guy, and uh, and he can uh, make a decision as to what he wants to do.
All right. See if I can get you in closer here to have a look. See this hair? Right here, huge crack. I mean, I don't know how far that goes around, but it goes all the way back to the corner. So that's where the combustion products are coming from. And, and uh, so that pretty much ends at where we set. Um, I'm gonna unplug it. And uh, I'll take a couple of still photos and uh, and uh, see what they want to do.